Today our history teacher looks very serious. Yeah, that's weird. At this time of the year, all the evil creatures crawl out of their shelters. Vampires, magicians, werewolves. How will you survive in these conditions? You need to know a lot about who and what you are about to encounter. Let's check out how much you know about magical creatures. The Root. You must have heard of mandrakes. Some of them have disappeared from the garden of one magical school. Three students at the school were suspects. The first one carried a sickle. The second one was holding cicadas. And the third one had traces of earth on his hands. So who stole the plants? And how? The third student. Since a mandrake is a root, he had to dig down, dug the magical plants from the ground, and stained his hands. Smiley guy. Something always happens to young magicians. For example, in the portal. A young magician got lost at his magic school. He needs to go back to the gardens. Oh, how did he get here? And now needs to use one of the portals. There are four portals in front of him. You can hear noises from the street. That's the first one. You can hear birds singing. You can hear leaves rustling. And you can hear the sound of rain. So which portal did he come through? He chose the third portal. There are his own dirty footprints on the floor. Don't mind the different sounds from the portals, because that could be a magic trick. Even though you're in a magical world, don't forget to use logic. Alright, good or bad? You need to spot an evil wizard who is hiding in the same room with a good wizard. He made them look the same. You go into the room. Wink. Cast the spell of muteness on both of them. And illuminate them with your magic lantern. This lantern makes magicians glow. It glows red for evil, of course, and green for good. But the evil wizard cursed the lantern. And now it has blue light instead of white. How can you spot the evil wizard? The good magician will have a turquoise glow. And the evil wizard's glow will be lilac. Why? The resulting color is obtained by adding blue with either red or green. Now let's move on to more serious things. Survival. Werewolves attacked a man in the forest. But after a couple of days, he appeared again in his village. Looks pretty happy. How did he manage to escape? He never escaped. He was bitten by the werewolves. And he became a werewolf himself. This man, I mean this werewolf, was lucky he wasn't eaten. Here's another task. Tricky werewolf. 
a brother and sister were hiding shh, from a werewolf in the forest. He had chased them for a long time. They must be tired. But finally, they managed to run away. They left the forest and went on their way home. He looks happy. But suddenly, they came across a man who was walking toward them. The children hid in the bushes immediately. How did they know that he was a werewolf? He had small pointy ears, check it out. Here's your last task for today. Party time. Jamie was invited to a vampire party. He's having so much fun. He doesn't even notice that it's not a costume party at all. But a real meeting of vampires. Most likely the invitation came to Jamie by mistake. Whoops. Help Jamie get lost among the vampires. What should he avoid? Do not get near the mirrors. So no one sees his reflection. And don't touch anyone, so no one feels his warmth. And do not drink the cocktails because they are made of blood. That's all for today. Be careful and remember. Do not look werewolves in the eyes. There is no need to provoke them.
Ew.
Thank you.